Hi friends, I welcome you all at Crack Grade B. As you know that we are covering top 300 multiple choice question from Current Affairs 2022 for this upcoming CB Grade A exam. And these multiple choice question, you can take this question as a last minute revision. And this is part three of our series. We have covered already part one and part two. And in part one and part two, we have covered hundred question. And in this uh, particular video, we are going to cover fifty uh, questions. So first question for today is which nation won the under 19 Asia Cup on December 31, 2021? Options: India, Sri Lanka, South Africa, Australia, or Pakistan. So answer: India beat Sri Lanka by nine wicket to lift the under 19 Asia Cup in Dubai on December 31 in rain interrupted final. And India under the leadership of Yash Dhul won through. Duckworth Lewis method as the match was reduced to 38 overs due to rain interruption. So India has won this under 19 Asia Cup. Which of, uh, among the following is the world's fastest sinking cities? Actually, we know that world is struggling with climate, with environment, with weather. So most of the nations are working towards. Uh, climate towards environment protection sustainable level development so recently it was in news which among the following is the world's fastest sinking cities your options may male uh, lindau new york jakarta or colombo so friend the city of jakarta sits on the swampy ground near the sea which not only make it's one of the fastest sinking cities on the earth but is also prone to flooding so jakarta has been sinking into the java sea at an alarming rate due to the over extraction of the ground water so as per the several studies the cities could entirely sink by 2050 so answer is d rare instance of snowfall was witnessed in which desert recently it is a very peculiar uh, phenomena phenomena so we have seen a snowfall in desert your options are sahara thar nami atacama or desert of australia so friends in a rare phenomena of snowfall was captured on the dunes of the sahara desert after the temperatures drop below zero and this is the fifth time in 42 year that it has snowed in the sahara desert the earlier time were in 1979 2016 18 and 2021 the maximum temperature in the desert reached to about 58 degree in the summer so still this uh, area get 58 degree temperature in summer but now he this area has witnessed a uh, snowfall in that area so answer is sahara who among the following has topped the list of most popular world leaders with a rating of 71% options pm narendra modi justin trudeau scott morrison joe biden or vladimir putin so prime minister narendra modi topped the list of most popular world leader with an approval rating of 71% the list consists of 13 leaders us president joe biden has ranked at number 6 and he is followed by the canadian pm justin trudeau and australian prime minister scott morrison so pm narendra modi has recently topped this list of the leader when is national girl child day observed january 23 24 25 26 or 27th so the national girl child day is observed every year on 24th the day is observed to spread awareness regarding the inequalities faced by the girl children in indian society and also to promote the right of the girl child and the importance of female education health and nutrition so it is celebrated on 24th india's first chief of defense staff bipin rawat will be posthumously honored with which of the following award bharat ratna padam vibhushan padam bhushan padam shri or none of the above so recently india's first chief of defense staff Uh, late shri bipin rawat ji will be posthumously honored with the padam vibhushan award and the cds had died in tragic helicopter crash in tamil nadu in december 2021 who has become the first black woman to feature on us quarter naomi anderson theresa l amin uh, lily mai bradford maya angelou or none 
So late American author Maya Angelou has become the first black woman for feature on the US coin, a new version of the American quarter. A 25% piece featuring her image went into circulation on January 10th, 2022. Which country has the weakest passport in the world? Recently, this uh, uh, it was in news, and uh, this uh, uh, the uh, this index was released by the uh, organization. So this question asks that the weakest passport is for which country? Your options are Afghanistan, North Korea, Sudan, Iran, or Iraq. Afghanistan has the weakest passport in the world as per the Henley Passport Index 2022. So this Henley Passport Index released quarterly by the organization and the holder of an Afghanistan passport, uh, passport can only visit 26 country. Afghanistan is ranked at 11, 111 position just below Iraq, Syria and Pakistan. As per the latest GDP prediction by the in Ra, IND Ra, what is the estimated GDP growth rate of Indian economy in financial year 2022-23? Option 6.5%, 76%, 8.1%, 9.0% 9 or 10%. So Indian rating and research that is known as the Indian RA has projected the real gross drop and stick product growth rate of Indian economy to grow at 7.6% year on year in 2022 22-23. Who is the author of the biography Bose, the untold story of an inconvenient nationalist? Option is Punya Prasoon Bajpayee, Prem Prakash, Chandra Chur Ghosh, Ram Chandra Guha or none of the above. So a new biography based on Nitaji Subhash Chandra Bose titled Bose, the untold story of an inconvenient nationalist is scheduled to release in February 2022 and the biography has been written by the research and founder of mission Netaji Chandra Chur Ghosh. So answer is Chandra Chur Ghosh. Name the winner of the Genesis Prize 2022. Options are Albert Barula, Rabi Lord, Steven Spielberg, Nathan Sharansky or Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So friends, the global pharmaceuticals giant Pfizer Chairman and Chief Executive Albert Barula has been awarded with a prestigious Genesis Prize 2022 on January 19. So answer is Albert Barula. Which of the following has been chosen as the Oxford uh, University Press Children's Word of the Year? Anxiety, coronavirus, sanitizer, isolation, or stress. It's a very typical question and it was in news recently. So the Oxford University Press has picked up a anxiety as the children's world of the year 2021 based on their recent research. So anxiety is the word which was chosen by this Oxford University Press. So uh, said to uh, really know De La Fuente Garcia, the world's oldest person has been, uh, has died recently at the age of 112 years and 341 days. So he was uh, from which country? Your options Italy, Spain, Switzerland, Finland or Denmark. So answer is Guinea, the world record holder for oldest person living male, Seto uh, Rinono de la Fuente Garcia. He was belongs to Spain and has passed away at the age of 112 years and 341 days. Answer is Spain. As per the UNCTAD data, the FDI in India 2021 was recorded what percent lower than in 2020? So answer options is 25 percent, 9, 29 percent, 21 percent, 26 or 27 percent. So the foreign direct investment flow to India fell by 26% in 2021 compared to 2020 as per the UN Conference on Trade and Development Investment Trend Monitor published on January 19, 2022. And in 2020, FDI to India was recorded at USD 64 billion. This was 27% more compared to USD 51 billion in FDI. So, in 2020 and 
and in 2021 so there was an increase and in 2021 it was in decrease so in 2020 it was uh, 64 billion and it was 51 billion and in 2021 it is 26 percent less as compared to 2020. PM Modi set to inaugurate world's second tallest statue in a sitting position comprising a 216 foot statue of Ramanujacharya in which city? Option Vishakapatnam, Kochi, Hyderabad, Bangalore or Chennai. So Prime Minister Nagan Modi will inaugurate 216 foot statue of Ramanujacharya in a sitting position in Hyderabad on February 5, 2022 to celebrate the 100th birth anniversary of the Sant Ramanujacharya was a 11th century saint and a revolutionary social reformer and the statue will be called as a statue of equality. It is very important word, it is called statue of equality. Who is the current brick shape of India? Is a very important question. Options are Piyush Goyal, Devyani, Kho, Khobgarde, Dilip Sina, Sanjay Bhattacharya or Ajit Dobal. So India's BRICS Sherpa of 2022 is Sanjay Bhattacharya. It will represent Indian delegation. What was the amount of global FDI flow in 2021 as per the UNCTAD Global Investment Trade Monitor? Ans options are USD 1.25 trillion, 1.45, 1.65, 1.85 or 1.95 trillion. So the global FDI flow increased by 77% to an estimated USD 1.65 trillion in 2021 from 9 to 9 billion in 2020. India's first para badminton academy has been set up in uh, which city? Options are Chennai, Hyderabad, Lucknow, Pune or Mumbai. So recently India's first Bara Badminton Academy has been set up in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh and it has all the advanced equipment and facilities. Report titled Banking on Electrical Electric Vehicle in India has been released by which organization in collaboration with Rocky Mountain Institute and RMI India. Options are FICCI, FICI, State Bank of India, and PCI Niti Aayog or RBI. So the Niti Aayog has released a report titled Banking on Electrical Vehicles in India on January 22, which outlines the need and importance of inclusion of electrical vehicle in RBI's priority sector lending guidelines. And the report has been developed by the Niti Aayog in collaboration with the US-based non-profit organization that is Rocky Mountain Institute and RMI India. One of the following has recently become India's first United Nations Development Program Youth Climate Champion. Op, uh, options are Sejal Kumar, uh, Prajakta Kohli, Ashish Chanchalani, Ranveer Alavadia or none of the above. So Prajakta Kohli has become India's first United Nations Development Program Youth Climate Champion and she is content creator on various online platforms like YouTube, Instagram, etc. Who is the author of that book? Legend of Bisra Munda. Options are Ravi Subramaniam. Tuhin A. Sinha, Ashwin Sanghi, Shiv Khera or Chetan Bhagat. So Maharashtra Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari launched a book on the life of the tribal hero Birsa Munda with the title Legend of Birsa Munda and this book is written by the BJP leader and author Tuhin A. Sinha and co-authored by the Ankit Verma. The answer is Tuhin A. Sahan, Sinha. Which city is the host of the host for the 2024 Summer Para, Para Olympic 2024 Summer Para Olympic Options are Paris, Rome, Athens, Beijing or Tokyo. Options are, uh, answer are, answer is the setup will improve India's medal prospect at 2024 Paralympics to be held in Paris. And it will be held at uh, France at Stade de France Stadium. Uh, the question 123 is, what amount of maximum subsidy on purchasing drones for farm mechanization has been approved under the submission on agriculture mechanization that is MAM? Uh, your option says 5 lakh, 7 lakh, 10 lakh, 12 lakh or 15 lakh. Union Agriculture Minister has amended the guideline of submission on, on agriculture to provide 40 to 100 percent subsidy until March 2023 in a purchasing drone for farm mechanization. After the amendment, a grant for the purchase of drone up to 100 percent of the cost of agriculture drone or 10 lakh, whichever is less, can be given. So, answer is 10 lakh. Professor Vinod Sharma has been honored with the Subhash Chandra Bose. 
of the Pravandan Puraskar for the year 2022. In the individual category, name the winner of the award in the institution category for 2022. So this uh, belongs to Disaster Mitigation and Management Center, Uttarakhand, 8th Battalion National Disaster Response Force, Sustainable Environment and Ecological Development Society, Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management or NDRF Varanasi. So Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management in the institutional category and Professor Vinod Sharma in the individual category have been selected for the Subhash Chandra Bose of the Prabandhan Puraskar for their excellent work in disaster management. So in, in institutional category, this Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management has got this prize and individual category is uh, award is given to Mr. Vinod Sharma. What amount of capital infusion has been announced by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy in the Solar Energy Corporation of India? Answer options are 700, 1000, 1200, 900 or 1100 crore. The Ministry of New and Renewable Ministry has announced that it will infuse 1000 crore in the State and Solar Energy Corporation of India and this has done to enhance the capital assets base of SECI. So uh, answer is uh, 1000 crore. US scientists have recently discovered an underground ocean buried beneath the surface of moon named Mimar. This moon Mimas belongs to which planet? Your options are Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn or Moon. So a team of scientists at Southwest Research Institute in the US have discovered an underground ocean buried beneath the surface of the death star like moon of Saturn named Mimas. So this is belongs to Saturn. Which of the these leaders have been conferred with the Netaji Award 2022 for the Netaji Research Bureau? Which of these leaders? So options is Xi Jinping, Shinzo Abe, Vladimir Putin, Joy Biden or Shri Narendra Modi ji. The former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has been conferred with the Netaji Award 2022 by the Netaji Research Bureau based in Kolkata. Which day is celebrated as the International Day of Education globally? Uh, options are 24, 22nd, 21st, 28th or 25th January. So answer is the International Day of Education is marked every year on 24th of January and it is uh, celebrated globally and the role of education in bringing the global peace and sustainable development. Who has been appointed, appointed as a chairperson of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act Educating Authority in January 2022? Options Preeti Singh, Sunil Gaur, Vinodanand Jha, Amit Shahani or Sushil Chandra. So Vinoda and Jha has been appointed as a chairperson of the Prevention of Money Laundering Educating Authority for a period of five years. Uh, the food ordering startup Swiggy has gained the status of uh, Decacon as it is it has exceeded the valuation of twenty billion dollar, ten billion dollar, one billion dollar, hundred billion dollar, fifty billion dollar. So Swiggy food ordering and instant grocery delivery platform has signed a 700 million funding round led by the asset manager in Vesco. Uh, with this the total valuation of Swiggy has reached uh, uh, to 10.7 billion that is it is now a DECA con. So answer is B. Uh, the prevention of money laundering act educating authority comprises of how many members? So friends, your options is 5, 3, 7, 11 or 9. So the PMLA Educating Authority is a three member body, answer is B and it is mandated to adjudicate the cases of attachment of asset order issue under the Prevention Money Laundering Act and order for its continuity and further confiscation or relief considering the merits of the investigation. Call money is a repayable, it is a static type of question. Call money is repayable at after 14 days, 21 days, 7 days, on demand or none of these. So call money is a minimum short term finance repayable on demand with a maturity period of 1 to 14 days or overnight to a fortnight. So it is used for inter-banking transactions. So answer is 14 days. Uh, GSEC are issued through auction conducted by the SBI, CB, UBI, RBI, and Navar. So it is also a static question. GSEC are issued through an auction conducted by 
So answer is GSEC are issued through auction conducted by the RBI and auctions are conducted on the electronic platform called the eCubeware and the core banking solution platform of the RBI. So answer is RBI. Now what is the minimum capital requirement to open a small finance bank that is 200 crore, 100 crore, 300 crore, 500 crore, 400 crore. The small financing uh, bank will require to use the word small finance bank and it, in its name in order to differentiate it from the other bank. So the minimum paid up equity or uh, capital for a small finance bank is rupees 100 crore. The government of India has made it mandatory for the telecom companies to store the international call, satellite phone calls, conference call and messages for a minimum period of how many years? Your options are 2, 1, 3, 5 or 6 years. So friends, the government has made it mandatory for telecom companies for storage of internal calls, satellite phone calls, conference call and message made over normal network as well as on the internet for a period of at least two years. RBI has imposed a certain restriction on the Indian Mercantile Cooperative Bank Limited regarding conducting of banking business for six months. So where is the headquarter of the bank located? Options are Kochi, Lucknow, Pune, Dehradun, or Lucknow. He is asking the Mercantile Cooperative Bank's headquarters. So the Reserve Bank of India has imposed certain restriction to on Indian Mercantile Cooperative Bank's Limited and it is located, its headquarters is located at Lucknow. Answer is B. India has recently approved a digital work plan 2022 which, uh, with which intergovernmental organization so options are G20, SARC, OPEC, ASEAN or G17. I am talking about this digital work plan 2022. So it was, it was a plan which was made by the India and ASEAN nations have approved a work plan titled India ASEAN Digital Work Plan 2022 during the second ASEAN Digital Minister that is ADG Mini meeting held on January 28th virtually. How much amount has been paid by India towards United Nations regular budget assessment for the year? It's a very important question. Options are 31.7 million, 17.5 million, 20.3 million, 29.9 million or 31.9 million. So India has paid to United Nations regular budget assessment for the year 2022 in full with a payment of USD 29.9 million on January 21. Uh, India's largest electrical vehicle charging station uh, station has been inaugurated at which place? Options are Gandhi Nagar, Hyderabad, Gurugram, Mumbai or Ahmedabad. So recently India's largest electrical vehicle charging station has been inaugurated at sector 52 of Gurugram at Delhi Jaipur National Highway on January 28. The overall global demand in 2021 overall global gold demand in 2021 was recorded at what value as per the data by world gold council options are 4021.3 ton 3658.8 ton 5051.5 ton 3749.2 ton 3859.2 ton so the world gold council in its gold demand 10 2021 report has informed that the global gold demand rose to 10 percent in 2021 to 4021.3 tons and the overall gold demand during 2020 stood at 3658.8 tons. So answer is a 4021.3 ton. Who is the author of the book? The 10 trillion dollar dream. Options are Ajay Bhushan Pandey, Subhash Chandra Garg, Hasmogadiya, Shashi Kant, uh, Shakti Kant Das or Urjit Patel. So recently the former finance secretary of India that is Subhash Chandra Garg announced, announced his debut book name the 10 trillion dollar dream. So it is written by Subhash Chandra Garg former secretary of finance of India. Which tech giant has partnered with the Bharti Airtel to invest USD 1 billion in the telecom major to accelerate the growth of the India's digital ecosystem. Options Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon or Facebook. So the India Telecom company Bharti Airtel Go, Google have announced a long term partnership agreement on January 28 to accelerate the growth of India's digital ecosystem under the deal Google will invest 1 USD, uh, USD 1 billion in Airtel. So Google is the uh, company which has partnered uh, recently with Airtel to accelerate the growth of the India's digital ecosystem. The World Gold Council data shows that the total gold demand in the India rose to 
how much turn in 2021 option is 797.3689.284 9.3446.4 and 590.5 turn so friends india's total demand surged by 78.6% to 797.3 turn in 2021 from 446.4 turn during 2020 so that is 797.3% now uh, the second uh, next question is how much amount has been approved uh, by the uh, by the government under this pli scheme for the textile sector uh, options is 11853 crore 10683 crore 9523 crore 13743 crore 12778 crore So answer Ministry of Textile has extended the timeline for submission of application under the PLI scheme for textile till February 14, 2022. Earlier this deadline was 31 January and the total financial outlay for this scheme is 10,683. The option B is correct. As per NESCOM, the asset uh, under management for environmental, social and governance funds was recorded at USD 500 billion, 650 billion, 450. Uh, uh, million not billion 600 million or 550 million so he is asking data for this 2021 so answer is it industry industry body nascom has informed that the asset under management for environment tal social and governance fund in india increased 2.5 times to usd 650 million in financial year 2021 on annual basis so answer is 650 who is the chairperson of empowered group of secretaries to monitor the progress of the pli scheme for textile sector answer is finance minister finance secretary mithi secretary cabinet secretary or rbi governor so empowered group of secretaries chaired for the cabinet secretary will be monitor the progress of this pli scheme so this is headed by headed by the cabinet secretary government has announced the extension of scope of the advisory board for banking and financial fraud to cover all the fraud cases above the uh, above what amount options are 50 crore 20 crore 3 crore 1 crore or 2 crore so central vigilance commission and ministry of finance have extended the scope of the existing advisory board and financial fraud to cover all fraud cases involving an amount of rupees 3 crore that is answer c and above in public sector bank and public sector financial institution earlier this limit was 50 crore and above so the abbf f will examine in all cases of amount involving rupees 3 crore and up to 50 crore now the government uh, of india has officially handed over air india in india to the tata group what is the value of this deal very important question it was in the news recently so options are 12000 crore 15000 crore 18000 20000 or 22000 crore So the government of India officially handed over the India's flag carrier Air India to Talas Private Limited, a subsidiary of Tata Group, on January 27, and almost 69 years after acquiring the conglomerate, the total value of the deal is 18,000 crore, and it is 2.4 billion. So answer is 18,000 crore. Now the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has recently released a five-year roadmap and vision document 2.0 to achieve US. a uh, 300 billion sustainable electronic manufacturing and export by which year options are 2026 2024 2030 2035 or 2033 so the ministry of electronic and information technology release a five year road map and vision document 2.0 for the electronic sector on january 24 and the vision document 2.0 or title 300 billion sustainable electronic manufacturing and export Uh, export by 2026 so answer is 2026 that is a and uh, it has been prepared by the ministry of electronics in association with the indian cellular and electronic association that is icea what is the projected gdp growth rate of india in financial year 22 as per the imf latest world economic outlook options are 7% 9% 8% 10% or 6% So the International Monetary Fund has cut India's economic growth forecast for the current fiscal year, that is 2021-22, financial year 22, to 9% in its latest World Economic Outlook report released on January 25. So answer is 9%. What is the rank of the India in Corruption Perception Index? Options are 81. Corruption uh, Corruption Perception Index 
2021. So options are 81, 88, 85, 89, or 90. So recently, Transparency International has released Corruption Perception Index 2021, in which India has been ranked at 85th spot, score of 40. So answer is C. According to the International Monetary Fund, what is the estimated global GDP growth projected in 2022? Option 3.7, 4.4, 4.9, 3.9 or 4.1%. So IMF has projected the global growth in 2022 to 4.4% and in 2023 to 3.8%. So our answer for this is and uh, the growth rate expected by the IMF in uh, 2022 for globally is 4.4%. The Spices Board of India has launched India's first portal for spices export. What is the name of the portal? And options are Spice Exchange India, Spice Trade India, Spice Export India, Spice Chat India, Spice Web India. So recently, the Union Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Som Prakash, inaugurated India's first portal for spices export name that is Spice Exchange India at hybrid event held in Kochi. The SpiceExchangeIndia.com portal has been launched by the Spice Board of India. So answer is Spice Exchange India. Now, what is the name of the mobile application launched by the Common Service Center to impart skill-based vocational education to youth and citizens in rural area? A very important question. Options are Gyan, Diksha, Yogyata, Sarthak or Disha. So the Common Service Center has launched a mobile phone application named Yogyata to impart vocational education and skill enhancement opportunities to youth and citizens in the rural area. So answer is Yogyata. So friends, it was all from my side today. I will come up with more video and uh, we will achieve this target of 300 questions in upcoming uh, upcoming one or two days we will try to finish this whole lecture up to 16th of february or we will try to finish it by 15th so till then thank you and happy learning